First news of today, pros react to Robert Whittaker destroying Ikram Alaskarov. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you want to keep up to date with daily MMA news. Robert Whittaker showed everyone he's still one of the top middleweight fighters by defeating the tough Ikram Alaskarov quickly in the main event of UFC Saudi Arabia. This win raises the question now, will Whittaker get a chance to fight the winner of the UFC 305 main event between Drake Suplicy and Israel Adesanya for the middleweight title? Or will he face Sean Strickland next? The fight was stopped at 1 minute and 49 seconds into the first round. Whittaker is now on his first winning streak in the octagon since he won three fights in a row from July 2020 to April 2021. The former champion began 2024 with a unanimous decision victory over Paul Acosta at UFC 298 in February. Hopefully Robert Whittaker is under I don't think he gets the credit that he deserves for what he does. This is a man that has two wins over Yoel Romero. He has beaten, I mean, so many, so many great fighters. Daniel Comey immediately went online to say this after this fight. After winning on Saturday, Whitaker announced that he's ready now to be the backup fighter for the main event of UFC 305. This event featuring a fight between champion Drake Suplessy and Israel Adesanya is scheduled for August 17th. A large number of UFC fighters responded to Whitaker's win. Let's see here some. Rafael Dos Anjos. Robert Whitaker is a beast, one of the best to do it. Aljamain Sterling, stunning right hand, what a finish. Henry Sayudo, Bobby Whitaker puts him on stills. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson wrote, what a start. At the post fight press conference, Dana White went on to say this shortly about Whitaker's win. You, nobody in the top 15 wanted to fight this guy. At, you know, he had a full camp, came in, Hamza calls this guy one of his toughest fights he ever had, and Whitaker made it look easy tonight. He, he looked like a stud. Did you watch the fight? What do you think about Robert Whittaker and his performance? Next, Conor McGregor reveals ideal timeline for return after UFC 303 injury withdrawal. Three weeks have passed since Conor McGregor broke his toe, but he's eager to get back in the octagon soon. He was at 3 Arena in Dublin last Saturday for the Bellator Champion Series to support his teammates during her main card fight. McGregor shared backstage with severe MMA that his toes is still causing him problems even after receiving stem cell treatment. I was kind of looking forward to getting the fight wrapped up June 29th, having a nice celebration on my birthday, you know, and then dialing back in for some time of a September date or, you know, give a September, October, something like that. Look, we just adjust. Everything is a moving, uh, everything is moving parts. Yeah. He was more than sad and went on to say this to the reporter. We just adjust. Everything is moving. Everything is moving parts. So I'm good. The injury is nuanced. It's painful. I'm not going to lie. It's very, very painful. Probably even more than the leg. And that's the truth. I'll tell you why. The leg was at least wrapped up. I couldn't access it. The foot is just there still. It's like it's exposed or something. It's a bit painful, but it comes with the territory. I need to just dial it in, get my training camps correct. McGregor, who's currently wearing slippers to make it easier to move around due to his injury that made him pull out of UFC 303 against Michael Chandler, mentioned his goal to come back in the next two or three months. There hasn't been any information from the UFC or its CEO Dana White about the expectations or plans for McGregor's return. August, September. August, September I'd love, McGregor said. You know the way it is, I'm in recovery mode right now. McGregor believes that he made the correct decision to pull out of the fight. This is especially true because his last fight was in 2021 when he broke his leg fighting Dustin Poirier. McGregor admitted it was an easy decision to make. On the question if he had problems getting into the focus for the match, he said this. I had a little lapse in concentration, a wake up call from myself, from my coaches and my training partners. And I'm gonna recalibrate, readjust, recuperate and return. Conor McGregor talked about the UFC also and wanted to make some points clear to fans. The UFC has been stellar. They've really gone above for me. I'm so grateful for that because I was in a dark place. Now I'm all right. I'm coming. I'm all right. I'm getting there again. I'm ready to go again soon enough. I'm just very appreciative of them assisting me. I'm sad for the fans that wanted the entertainment of the pay-per-view, of the press conference and the pay-per-view and the card and all. But look, it was just one of those damn things. How could I justify making that walk again and then be stationary flat on the feed and then saying this to my fans afterward? Oh, this happened, but I made the walk for you guys. The fans have seen this. I can't do it again. If you're paying that much, you deserve to see the best of me. So that's what they're going to see. It's on me and my team and coaches and my team of training partners to really dial it in and make sure that happens. And I'm confident we will. Next, Dana White reacts to Calvin Gastelum's latest weight cut struggles. Calvin Gastelum used most of his post-fight interview at UFC Saudi Arabia to apologize to executives Dana White and Hunter Campo. This was because he had trouble making weight again. 
The day before the weigh in, Gastelum told his opponent, Daniel Rodriguez, that Gastelum wouldn't be able to meet the welterweight limit. As a result, the fight originally set for the welterweight division was changed to a middleweight fight at the last minute. Gastelum won the fight by unanimous decision, saying sorry didn't seem to be enough for the UFC CEO to forgive him for the latest weight cutting issue. I'm not thrilled with Kevin Gastelum right now, I said at the UFC Saudi Arabia post fight press conference. This guy missed weight like three times in his career right now. Kevin Gastelum has had trouble making weight four times since he joined the UFC. The issue has always come up when he tries to compete at 170 pounds. The first time Gastelum missed weight was in 2014, the next time was in 2015 when he was 10 pounds over the welterweight limit for a fight against Tyron Woodley. In 2016, his fight with Donald Carp was her own. was cancelled because Gastelum couldn't meet the 171 pound limit for a non-title fight at UFC 205. White was especially angry because Gastelum didn't make weight again now. He pointed out that other athletes like Ikram Alaskarov and Antonio took fights on short notice, travelled all the way to Saudi Arabia and still made weight without any problems. I'm not thrilled with Kelvin Gastelum right now. Um... You know, this guy's missed weight like three times in his career. Uh, you got kids taking fights on a week notice, jumping off cards, coming over here and making weight. Do you agree with Dana White in this point? Comment it down below. Next, we see Hungary who's hopeful of sharing a UFC Island event with Conor McGregor. When Conor McGregor's return with Michael Chandler was set for UFC 303 on June 29th, Ian Gary immediately requested a fight on the same event against Colby Covington. Chaos declined the opportunity to fight the future, so the 26 year old decided to focus on Michael Venn and Page instead, even though Page is ranked lower in the welterweight division. 26 year old confessed that he decided to fight on June 29th mainly because he wanted to be on the same card as Conor McGregor. Otherwise, he might have not agreed to fight at all. The only reason I'm fighting anyone on June 29th is because I wanted to fight on the same card as Conor. Gary admitted in an interview with MMA Junkie. I wanted to represent Ireland side by side with Conor and do our country proud. The two biggest stars in the sport in Ireland representing our country on the biggest stage possible, breaking records in the UFC, which Conor already did and that's what I wanted to do too. Gary went on to say to the reporter. Gary also explained how he felt when he found out that Conor McGregor had pulled out. He said he was on vacation where there was no cell phone reception. His team informed him about McGregor once he returned from vacation. The only reason I'm fighting anyone is on June 29th is because I wanted to fight the same card as Conor. I wanted, I wanted to, to represent Ireland side by side with Conor and do our country proud. Dude, finding out Conor was out, I was on holiday and playing golf. I had no phone, no connection to social media, anything. My team told me when he finished, oh yeah, by the way, Conor's out. And I'm like, that sucks, I still have a job to go and do. Now I'm the one carrying the flag for Ireland, we were going to do it together but I'm still going to do it. I'm going to go out there and prove that the fighting Irish are still in force and when we go to war, we go to war. Gary said. What do you think of Conor McGregor's injury and do you want Chandler still to face him? Also, is Robert Whittaker an unestimated fighter in your view as Daniel Comier stated. Please subscribe to our channel and check out one of these videos here. We are interested in your opinion so please take a second to write them down. See you in our next video, take care.